Miami. Say hello to Chef Kurt Boudreaux. 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 Hey. Quarantine cooking, baby. We ready. What you got today? Man, this week I'm going to be coming at you with some simple desserts, man, all week. Today I got for you a caramel apple bread pudding. Yeah. Mm. Come on now. Oh. Come on with it. This one here for the grown folk, man. Are you kids, they can't have this. Uh -oh. Okay. This. Uh -oh. All right. Yeah, Brett, Louisiana. Brett waiting on this one. Uh -oh. Got my pen in the pad. <laughs> okay, Louisiana, we make our bread pudding with old, they old French bread. But uh, I made this custard with uh, milk, heavy cream, eggs, nutmeg, butter, cinnamon, vanilla, and dark brown sugar. Mixed all those ingredients together. And pour it over the apples and, and diced bread. Let it soak for about five minutes. Place into a spring muffin pan. And bake that 350 for about 50 minutes, man. Mm. Then I had a glaze that I made. Uh, I know, I know y'all gonna kill me about this glaze, but I made a glaze <laughs> with a... <laughs> <laughs> you said you, you already wanted. You said it was grown folks. What, what's in the glaze? Yeah. Come on. Uh, I made the glaze with a cup of powdered sugar, vanilla, butter, apple, cinnamon, apple crown. Man, this ain't for the kids. Man. This oh, ain't for the kids. Is. Well, that sounds good, man. <laughs> Real good, bruh. So you can find this video on Rick and Smiley Official. Find yeah. it on Facebook at Boudreaux's Catering and on Instagram, Chef underscore Boudreaux One. There it is, man. Hey, man, appreciate that, man. We like that recipe. We're going to try that when everybody going to be full and drunk. Mm. Get a toothache, man. <laughs> there it is, y'all. One time, Kurt Boudreaux. Yay. Yeah. Thank you, oh. Chef. Go, baby. <laughs> All right, y'all, Eva's Corner's up next. What are you going to be talking about, Eva? Well, who exactly deserves a front row seat in your life? Let's talk about it in Eva's Corner next on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Oh, man, we are quarantining cooking. Y'all get up and share your love of Chef Kurt Boutreau. 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 Morning. Good morning. How y'all doing, man? Man, I got hungry already. Every time you come on, I get hungry, man. Man, I know you got something good today. Yeah, I got something, man. A little something. Something is just real simple, man. A strawberry cheesecake pie. Oh! This recipe is real simple and quick, man. You set your oven at 350, because you're going to make a crust first. You know, you're going to bake that off with just a little flour, stick of butter, and some pecans. I know that sounds crazy, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick together. Talk about the bake crust? It off about, yeah. It's, that's oh, all wow. it is. It's just flour, butter, and some pecan. And you're going to bake that for about 20 minutes. You're going to remove it and let it cool. Now, for the cream cheese filling, it's uh, a cup of sugar, uh, a box of, an uh, eight-ounce box of that uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. And then yeah. you're going to fold in some Cool Whip. And after that, uh, <laughs> you're going to let them add that cream cheese mixture and level it out evening. Let it sit for sit for like 30 minutes and right. spray the strawberry glaze on top, man, and garnish with a strawberry. I'm telling you, man. I, Ooh, that's going to take it out. too good, but it's going to oh, be no. good, man. It oh, sounds good. It, it sounds sound good. good. What, what are you talking oh. about? It don't sound good. It's you know, sounding great at the crust <laughs> with the pecans <laughs> in it. The the cool. Right. Right. <laughs> Boy, when I tell Ooh, you, you I'm finna make that, I'm about okay. to make that tomorrow. Learn something new. It's Thank you, Chef Boudreaux. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kurt, let everybody know how you can be reached. All right, you can you can you can find this video on Ricky Smiley Official. Follow your boy on uh on Facebook at Boudreaux's Catering and on Instagram, Chef underscore Boudreaux One. There it is. Hey, I hey, appreciate you, Kurt. Oh yeah, baby. Y'all have a good one now. Too. Hey, you too. There it is, y'all. Chef Kurt right. Boudreaux. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, I was on the internet yesterday, man. I was so proud to see you with your cooking gear. Oh, I got to get you. had that red on yesterday, boy. And then the <laughs> other day you had on that black or whatever. <laughs> I like, man, bro. See, that's what I be talking. I said, man, my man is straight professional. One of the best <laughs> chefs in the United States of America. Y'all give it up and show it up for Kurt Boudreaux. Kurt Boudreaux. Oh. What's happening, y'all? Hey, Kurt, my cooking show started today, man, but I'm going to have you on as a guest one day, man, where you can really put down a straight-up recipe on them, man. We're going to kill them one Wednesday. Hey, man, I'm with that. I'm with that. Yeah, what you cooking today? I'm just doing a simple Sunday, man. Um, what? Yeah, man, just with a box brownie mix. Simple. Okay, so we go get the box brownie mix. Uh, what, Duncan? What is it, Duncan Hines? Or, is it Duncan Hines? Duncan Hines, Betty Crocker. It don't matter. Whichever one, man. 
Let's go with Betty Crocker. We know her a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna put some dark, uh, dark chocolate squares in it, man. I'm gonna push them down at the bottom to create like a a, a chocolate lava. Then I'm gonna put. That's them. how they do that. Wait a minute. I, I always wonder how did they do the lava if you? Cause I got the souffle bowls. Right, so you can put the yeah. brownie stuff in the souffle bowl. So you take dark chocolate squares and push it down in the middle. So when you take the brownie out and open it up, and then all of the uh, the, the like like the lava rocks, uh, yeah. the chocolate just that's, that's right. how, oh, right, I didn't know that. Me neither. Yeah, man. Hey, I'm, then I'm gonna put some Oreos on top of the chocolate and push that down in there some more. Ooh, -wee. now you done made it crunchy. <laughs> Brad, feel me on this one, big baby. Come on, textures. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so just follow your baking instructions depending on your pan size. And okay. I bake mine at 375 for about 30 minutes. Remove to the oven from the oven, and I cut them into squares and hit that thing with some ice cream. Ooh. I double deck of mine. Come on, double deck. <laughs> I, drew, so, so, I drew some chocolate on it too, man, with a cherry on top. Right. right. So, so, so you take the you take the brownie mix and you push the dark chocolate square and you put the Oreo on top of the dark chocolate. Yes, sir. On top yeah. of the brownie, or you push the the Oreo down into the brownie. I push the Oreo down into the brownie, but which is sitting on top of the chocolate. Hey, Kurt yeah. Boudreaux, you could have yeah. went on and threw a uh, threw in a homemade ice, but everybody don't have a homemade ice cream machine. Right. Either. Ain't no, nobody want to want to dip. Deal with that rock salt and that ice and stuff and have to sit there and do that all day. So you just gone. So what ice cream you recommend? Are you recommending blue bluebell blue homemade bell. vanilla? Oh yeah. There it is, man. Uh, Ricky, this no, reminds me of your all. recipe. Huh? This reminds me of your recipe when you crushed a, what is it, a red velvet the cheese red cake or something velvet that you made? Peach cobbler. Peach cobbler. When you oh, crushed oh, the Oreos yeah. on top that you talk about all the time. Oh, Absolutely. my God. That's what the Oreos reminded me of. Yeah, the red velvet, they have the red velvet Oreo cookies and do the red velvet peach cobbler. I'll get that recipe out one day, Kurt, and let you yes. try it. You got to try you that, You got to make it on your show. You got to show them. Yeah, we got we to gotta make that one, bro. We got to make that. All right, we'll, we'll do that one next week. You pick whatever day you want to do. We'll do that one next week. Kurt, let them know how we can see your video. All right, you can find this video on Ricky Smiley Official and follow your boy on Facebook at Boudreaux Catering and on Instagram, Chef underscore Boudreaux One. That is y'all, Kurt Boudreaux! Yeah. Kurt in the Ooh. building! Underscore. Y'all be good, man. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> it's coming and look at that seafood boy that Eva made last night, Kurt. And tell us what, and let me know what you think. You got your phone in your hand, Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Go to R.S. Comedy and look at Eva Seafood oh. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not doing this with you, man. It's been Thursday, hey, Kurt. not Friday. <laughs> hey, Kurt. That, that's that's, that's going to be the recipe. That's going to be the recipe for the day. Hey, I, look at look at, uh, look at Eva Seafood Ball and, and, and see what's in there. Tell, Kurt, how did Eva put that together? <laughs> Oh, hey, Gary, what you what you say? Sauce. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. I'm like, 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 i Eva Marcel Pigford Seafood Ball right there on RS coming and snapshot it and this is what Eva made and she cooked that for Big Mike, Little Mike and, and, and the other beautiful two babies and uh, uh beautiful and then she put some parsley on top of it, Kurt. What yeah. do you think? <laughs> Look, no, that's right not called parsley. That's garnish. She that's garnish. garnish. Oregano garnish. <laughs> <laughs> oh garnish, dude, baby. So what kind of sauce oh. could I make with this, chef? <laughs> then I made a barbecue cheese wheel sauce. <laughs> then I made a barbecue cheese wheel sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Drizzle it. <laughs> <laughs> So today, so Kurt, I apologize. We, Kurt, we're going to get with you tomorrow. Today is all about Eva today. Eva needed some love, and she said she wanted, uh, instead of doing Kurt Boudreaux, 
Uh, instead of talking about what you cooking, she wanted to throw her recipe in. So you, if you want to see uh, Eva Seafood Boy, go to RS Comedy. Kurt, you got a video, uh, your video. We, 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 what you cooking? We're going to go ahead and post your video anyway, but it's really about Eva. What you, what you, uh, where can you find your video, Kurt? <laughs> <laughs> you can find the video on Rick and Smiley Official, man. And Smiley Boy at Bujo's Catering at fa on Facebook and on Instagram, Chef underscore. Bujo one. <laughs> hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. Hey, hey, Kurt. But today, today who, who are we celebrating today, Kurt? We're going to celebrate even today, man. Look, 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 yeah. <laughs> More Eva fans is now going crazy. More Rick and Smiley Morning Show coming up. All right, y'all give it up and show your love for Chef Kurt Boudreaux. Woo! Boudreaux! Damn, big dog, I know you're doing it this morning. What you cooking, man? Today I'm going to be making for y'all uh, Bananas Foster, man. It's an ice cream dessert mm. over uh, made with some butter, sugar, uh, cinnamon, a little nutmeg. And uh, you take that butter and melt it down. Add your ingredients, slice you some bananas, and mm. throw those in the sauce, man. Let the sauce cook until it, you know, all the sugar dissolves and everything. Sauce. And you put the salt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You so good for a good you know, sauce, Boudreaux. Yeah, you got to have a sauce with it. Yes. So yeah, I, I cut them bananas and, and cook them till they get soft, man, and throw a little ban uh, banana liqueur in there. And then I hit it with a little bit of 151, and then I lift that pan up, Ooh. man. And, Ooh. But then I thought about it, I said, man, this going to be, this going to flambe. I'm supposed to be making this easy for people. <laughs> I don't want nobody to burn their house down, but they could just <laughs> let it cook. They could just let the alcohol cook out, man. But you just serve it over some ice cream, man. That's basically it. And it's an easy, it's an easy dessert, but I don't want nobody to burn their house down trying. Oh, Chef good. Boudreaux, is there a way you can make that without cooking the alcohol out? Right, leave well, it in. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can, you can, well, it's got to flame up in order for the alcohol to get cooked out. So okay. other than that, you're going to have to cook it. But, okay. you know, it's, you should be able to cook it, though, and, and cook the alcohol. I know y'all want it in, but, you know, y'all can that add it. That sounds delicious. Up. It do sound yeah. good. Ugh. And it's cute Ugh. when it flambe, when it catch on fire. I like that. I like Absolutely. when I go to a restaurant and they catch it on fire. The creme brulee mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Yeah, and then, hey, y'all can check that video out because I, I got a big flame on my boy. <laughs> I need to see that. <laughs> Where can I see it at? Oh, man, you can find this on Ricky Smiley Official. You can also follow your boy on Facebook at Boudreaux's Catering and on Instagram, Chef underscore Boudreaux One. All right. Hey, Boudreaux, man, I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, little bro, man. We love you, man.